Hello once again, this is Edge from Shieldberg. I'm just going to go over really quickly uh, using a transistor to increase the current uh, for a circuit or a part of a circuit, whichever the case may be. So again we have our 2N2222 transistor. We have an LED here. And for this, we have a 2.2 mega ohm resistor. It's uh, quite a high resistance value, and you're going to see why in just a second. So, first things first, let's. We already have our positive and negative rails going, it's plugged in. So, we are just going to connect from positive here over to here plug our negative into here we're going to take our LED we're not going to plug it in long because we don't want to blow it it's 9 volts going through here uh, but I just want to show you real quick that this will light again the long end is positive so we're going to plug that into the positive and then we're just going to plug in the negative here and it will come on might have blown it, I don't want to blow it. I think I might have blown it already. Let's see if I blew it. Eh, yeah, I blew it. Okay, that's fine. We'll get a different one. Be right back. Okay, so I have another LED here. Um, this one just happens to be blue. I just grabbed an LED. Uh, so, now we will plug this in here with the resistor so it doesn't blow and now it's on hopefully you can see that it's on I know the lights bright but I do these in the basement where I can be in peace and I gotta have my video lights on otherwise you can't really see much on the video um, anyway so this is on now it's working there's a good lesson. I have a good lesson to show you why you need resistors for your LEDs, generally. Um, LEDs do have data sheets with them as well. They show forward voltage and voltage drop, things like that. But generally, and, and if you try to be really scientific with your with your circuit, then fine. But just know you're going to need a reasonable resistor with your LED, reasonable size. Okay, so we have that now. I don't want to take too long, too much of your time. But now we are going to use this 2.2 mega ohm resistor to show you what happens. So we will put this in here and put that straight. Okay, so we're going to put this 2.2 mega ohm resistor in here. And now we are going to plug, this is going from, obviously from positive to positive on the LED. Now we're going to hook up the ground or negative and you will see that it will not light up. It does not light up at all. Why? Because this resistor here is cutting the current down way too much such a big transit uh, a big resistor that there's not enough current getting to the LED to light but what we can do is we will just take that off take our transistor and we are just going to put the base at the end of the resistor and even though the current is so low that it's not enough to light the LED it is going to be enough to saturate the base of the transistor. So what we are going to do from there is we are going to connect ground to the emitter of the transistor. And we are going to connect the negative post, the shorter one right there, 
to the emitter of the transistor and again we are going to use a resistor so we don't blow this LED and then we are going to bring a wire from ground to this resistor here and it will light maybe it did oh my bad I'm sorry excuse me <laughs> we are supposed to we are bringing this wire to we are bringing this wire to positive I'm sorry I made a mistake so now we see that even though it would not get enough voltage before or enough uh, current before I mean it is now getting enough current because we put a transistor in here to increase the current and then we'll just do it one more time to show you the difference just all we need to do is disconnect the re transistor take the LED out take that out now we're going to put the LED in this is positive all positive so we're just going to turn the LED around bring that there now we're going to connect the positive the negative end of the LED to our negative rail again it will not light it will not light because there's not enough current there is enough current to saturate the base of the transistor we're going to connect the emitter to go our ground negative we are going to put the negative end of our LED to the collector and we are going to complete the circuit by connecting the positive side of the LED to our positive rail and it will light and that is a transistor increasing the current of a circuit